お前は一体何なんだ友達だ What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another War of the Visions video here on Fort Misery Gaming. And today, guys, I am super excited for today's video because this is a video for free to plays, whales, dolphins, minnows, whatever you are. It can help every single player out there. So let's get into it. So, first of all, special shout out to my boy Cole in my guild and my Discord for actually helping me come up with today's topic. So, we are going to be citing WOTV、uh, Farm Calculator. So, I'm going to leave the website to the site in the description below. And how this site works is basically you are going to have、uh, different things you're going to put in,、uh, whether you want job material, whether you want a recipe, whether you want an equipment, a character, whatever.、Um, and then it's going to show you where things will come up. Now, make sure you clear all of your filtering options.、Um, And clear like whatever you're not looking for, so that way it won't get like held up or anything. I was having issues trying to get the level and see the drop rates for things before because my filtering options were,、uh, were collected and it wouldn't show up the levels for those. So just make sure you guys are aware of that. But anyway, the main thing what we're going to talk about is why you should be farming multiplayer more than anything during the week. So here's the thing, guys first of all, multiplayer. Is going to save you stamina, right? Because you're only going to have to spend six stamina per run, no matter what you're doing, even if you're hosting.、Um, and you are not going to have to use as many refreshes. And we're going to show you why multiplayer is significantly better to do in farming than the regular event quest, even on auto repeat. So there are instances where you may want to use auto repeat instead,、um, simply because,、uh, you know. If you can't really be on your device, if you are just letting your thing run, you want to burn some stamina,、um, you know, while you're at work, at school, whatever, you're busy, I get it. But if you guys are going to be around your device and you can, you know, click a button every, you know, let's say five to eight minutes, then you're going to want to just do multiplayer. And this is why. Look at the drop rate. So this is the regular event. You guys will see here, these are the key things that we have from the event to farm. I didn't list the EXP cubes,、um, but obviously the books, the vision eggs, and the seals are the big thing of what we are wanting to farm for the secret book quest. And this will apply to all quests for drop rates for whatever items are on that event. And this, keep in mind, guys, is only going to apply in relation to multiplayer things that you can get as well as in the regular events. All right? So. 68% chance to drop the ring book, the armor book, and the sword book. So, obviously, these have a very, very high drop rate or chance.、Um, and then you guys go into here, the eggs on the event, you have a 37% to get three per drop.、And、then you have a 37% to get one SR egg per drop. Then you have a 4.4% to get one of each seal per drop. So, overall, you have you know, around a 20% chance to get a seal. Between all four types, right? So around that to get one, per, one seal drop per, per run. Okay? But this is where we go into multiplayer. So, multiplayer, like we talked about before, only costs six stamina compared to 12 stamina, is gonna、uh, give you、uh, the option to join co op for free. So, to note, the, the, there is no,、um, there is no、uh, higher drop rate currently on global. For creating a room or just joining a room. So, if you still want to burn your stamina on other things, you guys can do that. And you guys could just join co op throughout the day when you guys have downtime, right? Look at this here though. Double drops at 61.8% for the accessory book, for the armor book, and for the ninja blade book. That's huge, right?、It's、double drops. So, that means if you get, say you got three ring drops, that means you're g o n n a get. Six ring drops for the book, right? Same for the armor and the, and the blade. We will look at the,、uh, the, um, the rare egg, the silver egg. Six drops per drop, six of them per, instead of three per, right? So if you get two, two,、uh, two drops of that increment, you're going to get double basically. Then we go to the SR egg. Normally just one drop of an SR egg, two drops of an SR egg per unit drop that you get. This is the big kicker though. Look at this. Almost double 
on seal drops in multiplayer. This is the main thing that we are lacking, is the seals, right? Are these seals here? Let me, oh, I can't even highlight them. Oh, there we go. All right, kind of. <laughs> but anyway, you guys see here, the seals are the big thing. 8.6 across the board, which means you're having close to, what is that, six times? You're close to a 30% drop rate per run. So every three to four multiplayer runs, you should get one seal drop. Now granted, most of us are after the evade seal to get our mithril armors or our sage's hat or our Hermes sandals if you guys have been doing uh, real-time PvP. Those are the main things we're looking for, obviously. So still, it is only an 8.6 for that particular seal to drop, but still, the chances of you getting these in your time is way more effective because guys, keep in mind, you're gonna have to burn tons and tons of stamina. You're gonna have to burn double the stamina, actually no four times the stamina to get the equivalent drops of this because you're gonna have to first of all play being double the stamina to be running it at you know double this. Then you're also gonna have to only have half the drop rate. So what my point is, is that this you guys should be farming throughout the week um, in co-op in my opinion. Unless you are super whale and you are gonna buy all the stamina packs and you just wanna burn all your stamina and you wanna do auto repeat and you don't wanna be looking at the game and you're you know, going like, you know, the, the kind of the super lazy gamer approach, then yeah, whatever, go ahead and run your event, do your 34, 36, 38, whatever many refreshes you have in your royal rank and burn out through your stamina and then join co-op after, right? All right guys, so we're in the game now and I'm gonna show you guys what things you have in multiplayer and what things you don't. So, all right, so we have all this stuff in multiplayer, right? Uh, the alchemist chamber, all this kind of stuff. Now you can farm your alchemist chambers if you want to in multiplayer. My opinion, while we have these special armor events of where you can get your books and your seals and things like that, especially having the secret book reward event, I would not waste the time in farming the chambers in co-op because keep in mind, you only have a certain amount of time every day to be farming. So use your co-op time efficiently and be farming these quests. Cause like we said, they got double the drop rates. So whether you're hosting or whether you're joining, I still recommend that, um, you know, you do have also down here at the end, you do have the high difficulty training chamber. Once again, these are not double drop rates. Um, so, I recommend for time sake and for energy sake that you do co-op only for the gear stuff. So I recommend if whether you're gonna wanna be doing brutal uh, difficulty for the Iron Giant events, whether you're doing the equipment training quests for the Golden Axe or the Sleep Blade, or whether you're going full on books and seals like a lot of people are. Keep in mind guys, what we went over in the update video uh, yesterday that you guys can also be farming, not just the, the stuff for the armor, the accessories, and the ninja blade. You can also be farming for spear, fist, gun, sword, great sword, and axe. So you have all those different options of things you can farm for books and seals. So take advantage of that. And then the other big thing to note is if when we go to our regular uh, far plane and we go to events, Gil in our day training you cannot co-op. So Gil is something you are gonna have to spend stamina. There's no way around it. There's no co-op for the Gil Chamber. So when this comes around the weekend, I say a good buffer is to have around 50 million Gil overall for how you're investing. And even if you don't dip below, like say you don't dip below 20, 20 million Gil on the weekend, then that's just less farming you have to do the following week for your Gil, right? So then you could just do 30, 30 million Gil farming for the whole weekend. So. That's the way you can conserve your stamina for future events, like uh, like collaboration events and things like that. You don't have to always be emptying out all your stamina pots all the time. Remember, we were getting 10 large stamina pots every Friday for this month, so maybe you wanna conserve those. Maybe only be using your small and medium stamina pots that you're getting um, you know, for daily or weekly missions in your for your, um, actually we do get three extra uh, large pots as well on every Monday. So we actually get 13 large stamina pots a week. Um, free to play. So maybe you wanna start saving those up for collaboration events or other uh, shop events. So that's a possibility you guys could think of as well. The other big thing to think about also is you also do probably wanna spend some of your time to start stocking up on the red and pink job materials from the final stage here. Uh, this is gonna be double drops. So the big thing of getting drops for this is going to be these special materials. 
and this is where you're going to want to spend your stamina because I just don't think the drop rates are good enough in co-op for this event without double drop rate. If they ever bring multiplayer double drop rate for this, then this will probably be way better, right? But these things are so hard to get. You see, you only have two of each of these and, you know, you just, you need so many. You need five of these per character for that job class. So if you're like ninja gunner and archery, uh, you need to have five arrows, five ninja stars, and five guns. So that's a lot. <laughs> so keep in mind, you can get these through your friendship and guild shop for 2,000 uh, points, but that you're not going to be able to maximize and get those every month. Uh, you just don't get enough points and coins to do that. Even through guild battles, you're just not going to get enough. So my opinion, guys, of where you guys should split your stamina is I would say use stamina if you want to host throughout the week. Um, do your dailies. Obviously, you got to do all your dailies every day, like your three times events for whatever stuff you're farming. Uh, do your five story quests a day. Do your 10 world quests a day. All that daily stuff like is a given to do on your stamina. But I would spend a lot of your normal stamina as just the six stamina runs of just doing co-op. I think you guys are going to see a significantly, uh, you're not going to be as drained out. Um, you know, and the other thing to think about, guys, is when we talk about character of farming and stuff like that, you don't need to really have, uh, and I'll do a separate video for this, but you don't need to have like 12 mithril armors at best stats with your 18 evade and 365 HP or whatever it is. Like, you don't need to have that much this at this point in the game, at least. And I don't think for probably ever, to be honest, because you only have five characters. All these things, like, so much of the equipment is interchangeable between characters. Outside of, like, the specific weapons, yes, those eventually you are going to have to have a plus five with optimal stats eventually. But right now, probably a lot of people are only focusing on three characters. So hopefully you have, like, usable, uh, good uh, swords, uh, sword weapons, or whatever your weapon is for that character on you know established by now so but i just wanted to really make this video so you guys are understand you don't need to be blowing your 12 stamina and auto repeating on the regular event you guys definitely need to take advantage of co-op because of how much higher the drop rates are it's going to be better for your stamina overall if you guys are trying to cut back on money buying large stamina pots all the time i highly recommend that um, I'm probably going to be cutting back a lot on buying stamina. Um, that way I can buy like maybe like the chocobo pack every week to start getting more and more esper materials in my chocobo dispatch. And the one last thing I did want to know guys is that this is in JP server. When you guys are hosting, you are going to get a host bonus here. So I believe this is the, uh, you guys see the five star and six star awakening materials for flame here. Those I believe are the regular drops everyone else got. And then the host got the drop here for the the six star job material so anyway guys i hope this video it wraps up everything i wanted to talk about as far as using your stamina effectively how you guys can take advantage of the multiplayer system to conserve stamina for the future and not having to blow you know 34 refreshes 30 refreshes 28 refreshes of stamina on, to, on the 12 stamina event you guys can take advantage of multiplayer save yourself some stamina get better drops Hopefully it's more productive on building your gear when these events do come, getting more book drops, things like that. Um, you know, I if you really want to time how long a optimal room takes, um, obviously if you guys want to have the best proficient use of your time in co-op, the best thing to do is hop in the Discord, Reddit. We got a Discord in our uh, in, in the description of every one of my videos. If you guys are looking to join co-op rooms, we have a co-op section of our Discord where you guys can join other players and that will speed up your time when you're in a room of people you know that are actually being proactive with you know trying to get the farming done especially if you have someone that's a whale <laughs> like myself who's royal rank nine where you guys are able to do two times speed farming and multiplayer that's going to obviously help you guys significantly a lot as far as the speed and farming and multiplayer so you guys could compare you know am i getting more drops by using stamina on auto repeat or am i using getting more drops from multiplayer obviously if you're looking at it from a time wise you may still get better results at the end of the day from auto repeat the regular event but you're going to be spending so much more money stamina all your other resources things like that to prepare for the future so that's the trade-off overall i still say try to stick to multiplayer as much as you can especially if you guys are free to play so 
I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you guys did enjoy today's content, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit subscribe if you guys are new and ring that bell so you guys are notified for the next video we post here on the channel. I hope you guys all enjoy your day. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys so much for checking out the channel today and I'll see you all in the next